heck I care? Hello, Vaughn people. We are back with Life is Strange. We are in the barn, ready to find out what's in the lost hatch in this old Prescott property, I think. Just so you know, I had to redo uh, this entire segment because I quit right before we opened the hatch. And when I reloaded the game today to get ready for stream, it started me outside with Max pulling the plank off of the, the wall. Um, so... That was annoying. I actually did it way better this time. And not from memory either, either because I did not remember how we opened the hatch. Um, I just ran a Hunger Games simulation featuring all the characters I have toys of on my shelf. Good news, Good news. Makoto Nijima won. Bad news, she murdered Platinum Presto, who is included because the Presto pin is on the shelf. Well, uh, did Presto at least make it out of the cornucopia slaughter at the beginning? Um, because that's all I really need to see. Um, yes, Kazoo. All right, Birdie. I added a couple more songs since last time. Um, last last song I played was Possum Kingdom by Toadies, and nobody got it. Um, pick a number from 1 to uh, 76. 1 to 76. Your choice. <coughs> and I will perform. 10. All right. Oh boy, this one might be a tough one as well. I get the lyrics just to jumpstart my brain. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So it goes out to Birdie. think if I can give a hint. <clears throat> Let me see if I can do another part of it. Oh, there we go, there we go, Money Trees by Kendrick Lamar. Congrats, Squiggly Wiggler. I was worried that that was going to be ungotten. Um, yeah, there you go. Let me check that off. Do, do, do. Um, you know what, I, there's a remix of, or rather a mashup from Silver Gunner of that song with the waterfall music from Undertale, and I love it so much. <laughs> um, it's really good. Uh, let's put that in the playlist. There we go. All right. Let's find out what's in the hatch. Finally. I mean, I know, but I've known Damn, for like 10 years. this is heavy. Uh, look up waterfall alternate mix on YouTube. What is It's this? a staircase! Jackpot. Um, oh yes, please do, Nick. Sorry, I'm do like backlogged on DMs because of Survivor is. and uh, the table of it all. Who built this kind of place? <laughs> but I want your thoughts. A press god, of course. Um, Master Splinter and Mugman. <laughs> wow. Uh, and who said that love was dead? All right, here we are. It's a hallway. I didn't know there was a Cage this Two world underneath. So surreal. So surreal. Are you serial? This is too heavy to break. Um, yes, so I will. Code. Um, we'll just say blanket warning now. Shit's about to get real. There's going to be very intense subject matter. Um, I would say of a <clears throat> you know abusive, uh, sexual assault nature. Um, you know there is. You know, depictions of, of death and, and uh, kidnapping, stuff like that. So, just be forewarned uh, moving into this, and probably the rest of the series, to be honest. It's going to be hard to, like, stop down between, uh, you know, each individual instance of that and let you know. Because I don't fully remember when these things happen. Um, but just, you know, be forewarned. If that's something that makes you uncomfortable, no worries. Uh, you know, take, take care of yourself, take it easy. And uh, you can come back when we're playing Disney Skate Adventure or doing a drag race simulation. This is too heavy to break, <clears throat> so I'll need a code. Which, I have to still talk to PJ, but I would like to do the Drag Race simulation Tuesday or Thursday this coming week. 
First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. Um, so if I recall, you can tell from the worn out nature of two, four, and five that those are the numbers. The order that they go in, I'm not sure, but you can probably brute force it. Let's do two, four, five. Oops. Bad code. Let's try four, five, two. Of course. Oh, no. I Let's didn't try work. five, four, two. There we go. Third oh, time's yes. a charm. I thought that only you locked it, dumbass. <laughs> Sesame. <clears throat> Where does open sesame come from? Um, Stocked and ready. Like, why is that the word? This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Alibaba. Oh yeah, I remember. Actually, I remember having that thought and reading and looking that up. Um, is that also where abracadabra this? comes from? Open sesame. <laughs> is that? <laughs> wait, is that it too? Or is that? Is that like uh, conflated with the true origin? Look at these cans. Big Bird, I think. David one of the, with the same story. One of the West's wisest philosophers. More survivalist supplies. Wait, do we have that weird cereal that uh, is in uh, Chloe's house? I can't remember the name of it. That Max girded herself when she was talking about. Water supplies. Water brand water. It's like in David's garage bunker. So, like, immediately you know this isn't David's because it's so obvious <laughs> if it would be, right? Like, okay, this is not David's bunker because everything about it is so Davidian. So it can't be. <clears throat> Squeenix. Yeah, is that what it's called? This says it all Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, because it's Square Enix. He needs help. Dear Mr. Prescott, as Nathan's primary psychiatrist for over five years, I feel that I should stop seeing your son as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestions for his and others' well-being. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges. Fucking Presto's got challenges of his own. Um, but I fit God damn it! But I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. I do, if I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan, and it is simple as that. I fear he is becoming even more disconnected from reality, even if he acts in a personable manner. You have ignored my request for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan, and I believe he needs serious help. If you would like to talk about this matter, I am always available. Best, Dr. Jacoby. Well, they were trying to get him help, and they just sort of stopped. Duct tape. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. <clears throat> um, let's see, we got a photo printer. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. This looks like a tanning bed to me. I would be getting in this shit and just getting my shit absolutely printed, I suppose. Because to me, it looks like you lift that thing up, lay down in that bad boy, and uh, you come out with, uh, with some color. <clears throat> that son of a bitch. That son of a bitch. Why? What is... Um, oh, okay. This bunker costs a mill and three hundred fifty thousand. Uh, the Stormbreaker bunker from Howard Rourke Construction, the best in bunker technology. <clears throat> Talk about tortured. Yes. This reminds me. We finally put up some wall decor in the <laughs> in the living room. Not quite of that uh, nature, but it's more so like uh, pretty little ferns and flowers. But, you know, it just reminded me. We have a note. <clears throat> what is going on between Nathan and his phone? Nathan, I've told you to never call me using your phone. Stick with the disposable ones I gave you. I don't want to hear you screaming out my name in a public place, which you have done stupidly before. I haven't set all this up and shared my vast wisdom just so you can fuck it up with your teen rage. We can accomplish a lot together, but you have to let me guide you. Well, you're on your own. Whoa. Big daddy issues there. And not like the Bioshock oh, yeah. kind. Well, suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Dear Nathan, Principal Wells has informed me that you have been suspended due to some suspect Vortex Club activity on your part. Never mind that. Never mind that. I just want you to know what kind of shame you've once again brought on this family. 
I've given you everything you've ever wanted, including Blackwell Academy, among other things we shall not mention, but nothing is ever enough for you. You're still my son, and I want us to fulfill our destiny. That day is coming sooner than you think, so be prepared to step into that responsibility. This is my final warning. S. Prescott. Like, the fact that he doesn't even sign in his dad is, like, so fucked. Let's see what's in here. Well. Oh, my God. No. That would be Kate Marsh. <clears throat> You will open up Kingdom Hearts, Nathan. I'll get your heartless and your nobody if it means attaining the door. Um, this is really fucking gross. That's an original signed illustration. <clears throat> Lisa. In here. Um, what's up, Chloe? You find any small animals to torture yet? <clears throat> ah, the apocalypse entertainment system. Good setup. Sweet rig. I guess I just can't even interact with her. That's fine. I've never mm. seen so much pricey equipment before. What's in the news? These newspapers are all about Rachel. Rachel Amber officially confirmed missing. Search continues for popular Blackwell student by Juliet Watson. Blackwell student saved from rooftop suicide. It's been a crazy week. Somebody likes their whiskey. Hmm. Who drinks whiskey? Needles. That's actually not really a close. Ew. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Can you imagine chilling in this room? She just she just be saying anything, I guess. <laughs> Could you imagine chilling in this room? Um, no, Chloe. God, she's just fucking impossible to work with. Anything else? Tripod. So who's using <clears throat> this fancy tripod? Nice, Chloe. <laughs> yeah, like, we're not not chilling, right? Like, um, I don't know. What am I supposed to be doing right now? Uh, I feel like I've looked at everything. Can you imagine chilling in this room? Not anymore since the last five seconds. Um, anything else? Do I leave? <laughs> uh, I don't really remember. This curtain is not go-throughable. Photo printer. Nothing about Rachel here. What are you talking about? There's a newspaper with her name on it. Um, I read these letters. I used the computer. I can't Let's scroll any further. Um, oh my god. <laughs> so nice. You gotta say it twice. No. Did I see this? That son yeah, of a this bitch. Yeah, the bunker papers. Did I open the cupboard? Maybe not. Oh, here we go. The big red binders. Oh, yeah, this is not good. I just remembered this is not good. <clears throat> Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh, no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Yeah, this is gonna get heavy. Um, it's already kind of heavy. Has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel, this can't be real. These are all these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Th then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Well. Oh. <clears throat> this picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel is passed out. And she has something in her mouth. I don't have any boots or gags to, to make. This is just sad and, and disturbing. This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Um, can we examine Kate's? Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's <clears> being <throat> posed. 
Bro is not going to be in double exposure. Miss Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. All right, I think that's all we've got to see now. Did she fucking lock me in? <laughs> she left and locked me in. <laughs> Chloe, let me out. Um, I forgot it was the middle of the day. Yeah, it's true. They uh, probably should have brought some gloves or wiped everything down. I did not, and honestly, I probably won't watch it. Um, I knew about Chloe, slow down. Wait for me. Um, the exactly first major plot point of True Colors, and I kind of wish I didn't, even though like it was blatantly part of the marketing. Like I know the absolute bare minimum about double exposure, and I'm happy Look, with that. This is it. This is it. <clears throat> That's just uh, brutal. You kind of knew the whole time. Like, the first time I played this, I was like, she's dead. Like, she's dead, obviously. Um, she's not just going to turn up and they're going to ride off into the sunset. But it's still brutal. This is episode four. Also, that's an incredibly shallow grave. Uh, I feel like, uh, isn't it six feet for a reason? Like, that was really easy for them to find. They used their hands. Um, bad job by whoever put her in there. Um, yeah, I agree. I agree. Well, I heard that, I played it on stream. Someone, there's this TikTok account that does, like, Life is Strange. Basically, like, YouTube poops. Um, and they played that Chloe line after she got her house blown up by a creeper in Minecraft. The creeper exploded and she goes, What kind of world does this? <laughs> Which is obviously taken from a very sad and serious situation, but in that context it is fucking hilarious. So, And uh, here we are back at school. I see two moons. Yo, Chattery, do you see the two moons? <laughs> Yeah, new soundbite. What kind of world does this? Me when I lose Blicka. <laughs> Who does this? Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. No, she did. <laughs> so we could get real justice and revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody. <laughs> moon gonna one. Get Head to Moon two. <laughs> with your help. Right. I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. We really should. I'll try to grab it. Another she day. Yeah, I feel like at this point we need some Life is Strange rep on the sound soundboard. <clears throat> Yeah, no, we have a, we still have a good bit of, uh, episode four. I can't tell if they're different. What is that? <laughs> Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major. Usually I'm annoyed by Chloe, but I actually really like, I just like this shot and like, she's like, fuck it. Like, literally who cares? She's going through a lot of personal turmoil. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. Oh, Warren. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good. Don't Warren. touch me. Are you all right after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. Chloe, <laughs> shoot him. He's dangerous. <laughs> Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? 
Well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Okay, here's the thing, right? Like, I I had a few drinks at Warren's age. I think I could have made it through half a beer without beat. Like, he's he's fully drunk, and he on half a beer. I mean, I'm not I'm not trying to shame, but like, what kind of like my tolerance is not that great. But that's crazy. <laughs> like, maybe it's just the writers. Half a beer got you like that, even at 18. Even if it's your first half of a beer ever. I think it's like placebo, you know? Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but <clears throat> I get one picture, and I've been feeling like this might be actually. I didn't even drink beers so at his age. I, I never I really drank beer. Something for prosperity. Well, <laughs> I don't blame you, Lori. I know, I know. I'm paying the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Like, I was drinking, Action. like, you know, like, uh, mixed drinks, you know? No time for this shit. Which had a higher Come percentage on, of alcohol. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. Nice clockwork Never orange reference, like Warren. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need You'll get your ass kicked right? plenty more in the future, Warren. Nathan it's not the end of the world. Me, I mean, it is, okay? but... And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Uh, Not Danny Yankees, right. thank you for the follow. Text. See Rex. Uh, Max. <laughs> He's like fucking Riku in the in the ocean. Here's my question: Why is this framed as an end of the world party again? It's just like that's just a theme they pick that happens to line up with the fact that Hi. like the world's got weird shit going on now. Like it's Halloween, right? But why is it end of the world theme? To be cool, I guess. Okay, Chloe, where the hell are you? Stella! Uh, uh, hi, Stella. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Man, oh, I no flew thanks, all the way Stella. from Hollow Bastion, and boy, are my Have arms tired. Yet? No, thank God. Yeah. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. Nathan's creep. I know she's talking about Chloe, so Nathan's creepy? Why does Nathan creep you out? He should. I, I just want your reasons. <laughs> That's such a good He's line. A for one thing, and he hit Why does he creep you out? For the record, he Have should you creep ever you out. At his eyes? Glazed and raging. Me no like. Don't so tell Bioroxis. Why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Um, who hired you? Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. Why does he know the finances of his students? That's really weird. I know that you're a broke bitch, so why don't you work the tables at the end of the world party, Stella? That'll help you out. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. Max, this is the second I time you've ever spoken to me. On that grind I really set. That. <laughs> I can tell from your photographs that you're a broke bitch. Your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Um, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. You keep you keep submitting yourself. pictures of your student loans. Hell no. <laughs> this is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Okay. Anyone else in here to talk to? Yo, it's an IKEA shark. He's the guard. That's cute. All right. God, my arm is going to be so sore tomorrow from the table.
<laughs> That'll be hard to do when the oh, I remember what I was going to say. Town. The Vortex Club goes and nowhere. Club. It's literally just a club for Vortex rich kids. Cult. Like, there's no conspiracy. Dress code, it's nothing. Section. I guess it's like a red herring, but... Preach it, brother Luke. <clears throat> Why are we doing this brother titling? Thanks for seeing It is really loud now. Thank God for subtitles. These two are talking legit straight up philosophy. Alyssa, no! Oh no, she got electrocuted because she had her phone. <laughs> oh, I gotta save her. Alyssa, move. Move your ass! I'm on it! Whoa! I almost got pull noodle. My object angel. I don't think I got that one when I played it initially. I'm on it! What the fuck is happening here? Oh my god, is that TOS? Is that TOS? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That smut of my comfort characters. The Bigfoot on otter action. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, these two are like talking about like fucking Descartes. Uh, is that how you say? <laughs> you know, Renee. <laughs> I love this. Stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting yourself. This is hazing. This is vortex hazing. Wow. It's good to, like, psychoanalyze all these people. Alright, what's up, Alyssa? Look at Alyssa shake that booty. Just... I'm surprised to see you here. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised that Blackwell is having a party after Kate almost jumped off a roof. It's a weird little party, yeah. I guess people are happy that Kate is okay now and we can party with her. I'm just She's just standing there. <laughs> I'm throwing it back, Max. Why is she here? Didn't I tell her not to go, or is that somebody else? Who did I tell not to go in the last episode? Oh, it was Daniel. <clears throat> I saw that the video got taken down, so I hope nobody posted any. I wonder else. if you didn't say that if you didn't show up here. Look how fast people here forgot about Kate. Also, nice roach shirt. Forget about her video. So it goes. Unless <laughs> I like you, don't come to school tomorrow. Alyssa. I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's in New York. Club. Alyssa, why is your hair clearly all just Watch one big piece? Why? When I, have I don't believe in hair washing, side. Max. Good luck. That's how the government gets you down. Yes, I, I'm back. You scared me for a second. <laughs> what a weird I way to... to yes, you. I'm back. I think you'd come back. I'm gonna start every conversation like that. Yes, I'm here. Hello, it's me. Look at this. I'm at my first and only Vortex Club party. <clears throat> I know. This week was so shitty that I just wanted to be around a bunch of people trying to have a good time. Even if I hate most of them. <laughs> Victoria. Victoria doesn't seem to hassle you like she does me. Lather, oh, rinse, okay. and obey. She must know I'd punch her in the face. Oh, please. I would love to see. Can we get the scene of Warren beating the shit out of Nathan, but it's Alyssa beating the shit out of Victoria? Taste my rage, Victoria. I always warned you. I'm so glad I could warn you about all those sneak attacks. You kind of are a superhero. You always choose to help me. It reminds me of the only poem I could quote by a Robert Frost. <laughs> Tell me later. <laughs> Tell me now. I could use one moment of poetry right now. Oh. Imagine if you're like, imagine how much you have to put yourself out there to even say that as a human being. You know what this reminds me of? Um, it reminds me of a poem. It's the only poem I can quote, actually, by uh, Robert Frost. And imagine if the person was like, I would love to hear about that at a later date. That's not right now. <laughs> like, that's like, that's the most precious thing. Like, she has given her the most valuable thing, her trust. But this is like poet karaoke. Don't trip. So don't cringe. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by. That has made all the difference. 
That was beautiful, Alyssa. I couldn't hear you Please after you said hence. Here. What was? Thanks can you? Sorry. What Thanks was it? And I was cringing that actually. Could you repeat it? I, it was really long, and the song is so loud. <laughs> My favorite clubs are where a marble mouth goth shouts over electro clash music to recite poetry to me. Yeah, that's the best kind. Best kind of club. She's gone. She is completely gone. Whatever. <laughs> she's done. Oh, wait. She's got. She, they're dating. They're in love. They're gonna get married. God, he's also gone. I think they. These two might be dead before 1 a.m. Dancing is my passion. <laughs> Where's the lifeguard? Yeah, it's probably fucking Samuel holding a mop on top of a stack of like beach chairs. Um, what's up, Opal? Just got out of work and I saw a title of the stream. Can I get some context for my anxiety? Uh, this party is a Halloween party, but the theme is the end of the world. But coincidentally, like, there's a lot of weird, uh, like, ecological stuff happening, so it kind of is the end of the world. Um, it's not our actual end of the world. Uh, our world, I mean, you know, as far as I know, immediately our world is fine. It's the Life is Strange world. Um, all right, what's up, guy? Trust me, dude. You're not missing. Let me in, bro. Come on. I let you borrow my algebra textbook. We got the biggest, fucking, sh sh strongest twelfth grader to guard so the curtain. And his shirt says "sport," not even plural. Just one sport. The biggest fucking senior uh, um, class member of existence. Glow sticks. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? I'm Chad Chadman, the bouncer. Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? Hello, party secretary. Can I come in? Excuse me, but I'm going in. <laughs> Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay, Chloe. Sorry, but I'm You're clearly Chloe. Okay. Chloe, take off your I blonde know that wig. Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen. No, you listen. This Courtney is literally Chloe's voice actress going like this. She's doing the fucking Yazora Dylan Sprout strat. Thought you'd win. You're not getting in here, Max. It's not me, Chloe. Don't ask me about the handicap fund. You know that's to be the <laughs> that's a sore spot for me. me so please go. <laughs> Why would Chloe act like that and also wear that wig? How do I convince Chloe to take the wig off and let me into the party? Yes, you do suck. What? Oh, because like a vortex sucks? Okay. Yeah, dude! Fuck it up! Let's go! Brahaden. Yeah, 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 yeah! Do it! What is he doing? I think they're also dating, TBH. <laughs> What, what is Hoodie Magoo doing? He's doing exactly what I would do in this situation. But no one here can fucking dance. That makes me feel better about myself. At least this girl, like, people are occasionally looking at her on the mats. Push, <laughs> there should be an option to push. Take the, the evil, <laughs> like, like Cole McGrath. I'm, do, I'm going evil max mode. Push. Alright. Also, look at these clearly. <laughs> this is like, uh, whatever the name of this technique is. This is like when you're doing, um, Battle of a Million Bad Guys in KH3. And it's like, those are the shadows that you can't hit. They're just, uh, the sprites, I guess. Yeah, Samuel's like, in the corner, like, now, now, don't, don't be doing that now. Put that pool noodle down. Don't be throwing glow sticks at each other. That's not for eating. That's very bad. <clears throat> yeah, they got a pool. They got a big swim team. Hey, the girls' room. Well, I guess it's, I guess it's gender neutral now. I didn't know uh, Blackwell was this progressive. 
my stomach! <laughs> Someone's just taking the biggest shit of their life, and there's just like eight people standing around. Toilet paper. Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. Um, I think we have to worry about the Bigfoot fucking otters fetish first. Supermax. 69 Regions, the Bang Rachel. Is that a 13 Regions Y reference? That trash fucking show. Oh, wait, this is a picture op. I'm not in the mood, but still. <laughs> this could be an interesting shot. That feels like an illegal picture. I guess it's not. Because we're... It's a co-ed bathroom at this point. But I feel like you shouldn't be taking pictures in bathrooms. It's probably a bad idea. Hi, Justin. Justin's just a Kazoo. little buzzed. Um, Jungle Wine, pick a number from 1 to 75. Right? Yeah, 1 to 75. And I'll do my very best. What's up, Ohm Sorbet? <clears throat> or if anyone else wants to pick a number, I'll let you guys decide. Hi, Justin. Yo, Maximum Overdrive. About time you got here to save this lame rave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look like join the gym already, Justin. And not also you don't have to yell. The music's not playing as loudly in here. Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday? It's a night? Thursday. They got Besides, class tomorrow. Thirteen. Dana right. is here. It's not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Oh, Justin, you've got no shot with Dana. I just want to let you know. Um, Thirteen. All right. Ooh. Okay. All right. I like this one. There you go, Melancholy Hill, my favorite Gorillaz track, one of my favorite songs of all time. Pacific Coast Party! <laughs> I wish. Oh, there you go. Um, let's move that over. Boom. Okay. Uh, let's talk more about Dana. Who's You're like, isn't she in like a jock love triangle or something? Oh. What? When I saw sound. them together, I came over to cry like a little bitch. <laughs> little <laughs> bitch. <laughs> that was the... The best I'm enunciation sorry, of bitch I've ever heard. But you're a cool, considerate like a little guy. And bitch. You're gonna find somebody just as cool, minus the drama. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense, and your voice sounds different. <laughs> you okay? How about Fine, a Justin. Dab? If you insist. Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. <laughs> And I have to hasn't even been invented yet, I don't think. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Sora was the first dabber. Fucking that was the year Maximus. before this game. You're right. I'm only torturing two years? myself here. When was Life is Strange? Awesome. Too loaded. Fifteen? Three it's years. It's time to get my board and grind. <laughs> grind. <laughs> I love Justin's uh, no, line reading here. Seriously, too. I'm out of here. Oh, when everything isn't so fuzzy. <laughs> Justin thinks he's watching TV right now. <laughs> he's fucked. Um, eat or exit the Vortex Club. Okay. The tide is turning. Yeah. Uh, Dana needs a baby daddy. What is with the fucking Megusta face everywhere? Why is that like... I mean, I guess this is set like... Even even by the point this is set, I feel like that's kind of passe. Um, I don't know. This is set in 2013. Game comes out in 2015. Like, Magusta, I feel like wasn't a thing after, like, 2011. I'd like to tear every one of these things down. Me, we're pissing. Um, kill the Prescotts. Chloe must be around. Oh, can you please hurl and wash Brah! Get off me, brah! Yes, Gross. How did this even get here? Hold his hair back. Maybe Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> well, his legs are flailing. The toilet is winning. He's shitting on the mother toilet and not flushing. Did I do that right, Birdie? Somebody's <laughs> either having sex or throwing up. Or both. How many legs can Ugh, we see? Max. Ew, Max. Intrusive thoughts. 
I love Warren. Oh, right. <laughs> I love Warren Gay Ram. Oh, yeah, that's a classic. Alright. Um, where the fuck did we go? Oh, I thought this was like an adjoining area where we could, like. Could you move? Could you move? He's fucked. Alright, I guess we're leaving this bathroom. <laughs> this cannot be my legacy. <laughs> I fear she shit on the mother toilet and didn't flush. Are you sure I can't come in, not Chloe? God, are you mental? You can't come in. God, they didn't even try to make her sound different. Um, are these real songs? Where the fuck do I go? Can I kill everyone by pushing a speaker into the pool? Lane reel. Push. Hmm. I could push this out of the way and officially crash the. I thought I like added my name to the list though. Am I making that up? Maybe I go back and talk to Courtney before I push anything into the pool. I want to. Uh... Let me talk to Courtney again. Yeah, let me in. <laughs> Kendrick and Bob's blood ass first. Even though you flaked on my party makeover, you still get special access to the. Even though you parried that, 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 that. Everyone's face uh, muscles are fucked. Asshole just made her last mistake. <laughs> she thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye. Now, yeah, kill false Chloe. Entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> get it? I don't, but okay. <laughs> Take off that, that fucking I wig. Put Max's name on the list. So, you like to find a block first. It's like when your older brother tells off the bullies. <laughs> you're not you stand back here. Wait, I, I just uh, Oh my god, you're done. And you're off the list currently. <laughs> Welcome to the Vortex. Get fuck, Sarah. <laughs> false Leslie, false Chloe. Way to go, idiot. Please let there be a button to glow. Why isn't Courtney guarding the list? Oh, okay, they really should have at least added something there. That's what you get. I made some inroads and I didn't have to kill anybody in the pool. Nathan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. His ass and maybe even the rest of him too. What's up, Kate? Um, thank you so much for coming by, Max. You lifted my heart. This is when we visited her at the hospital. Kate, I was so happy to see your smile again. You mean so much to me and to so many others. I have to go, but tell Warren thanks. He's so sweet. He brought by some school books I needed. Give him a hug for me. Uh, I'll certainly give him your thanks. <laughs> Call me as soon as you can. That's so funny because I think regardless of like the romance path you take here, um, Max will always say that. So that's so funny. <laughs> give him a hug. I'll let him know that you said thanks. <laughs> that's uh, that is where I draw the line. Yo, bong. A bong. I say that as if I give a shit. A as if I've ever even touched one. Hi, Hayden. Surprise, Hayden is trashed. He would dose his own drink first before anybody else. <laughs> a little surprise for me. <laughs> okay. What's up, Hayden? Oh, uh, look. Up in the sky, it's super max here to save Yo, bomb. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some dank OG buds, so I can... Writing is my passion. Barely <laughs> see you. Are these hotties next to me? You want to hit? Uh, I want to hit Nathan. <laughs> no, I want to find Nathan. Me too. He's supposed to be bringing <laughs> some special party favors. I hope that the party you actually planned a party at the party. Not this week. So that was, uh, I know he's like drunk and high, but that was the line reading of all time. Ask everybody here, or you can sit down and take a quick hit. There should be an option to take a quick hit, and you just play the rest of the episode kind of fuzzy. Hayden, does Sean Prescott pay for the Vortex Club parties? What doesn't he pay for? The Prescott's shit money. Ooh, well, that's gonna hurt, because you're gonna get paper cuts on your asshole. 
if you shit money. That's not good. The alternative is shitting like giant rolls of quarters. That's just not, not good. He shit crypto. Shit coin. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Kate. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. They probably have David Madsen. They're like, uh, they're roasting him like a pig with an apple in his mouth. Get me out of here! It's the end of the world! Woo! We're gonna eat David Madsen! <laughs> Alright. What's up, Taylor? Taylor really shows her Vortex Club spirit. I guess so, if that's what that entails, doing this. Yeah! Look at you go, Fuck girl. yeah! Taylor, <laughs> have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting, like, too buggy and kind of scary. Wait, is she, is she Chloe's voice actress as well? It's not as obvious. And I could be completely wrong, but she sounds similar to Chloe here. Victoria might know. Victoria. What does Victoria say about that? She blows it off, but Vic is close with Nathan. They're more like brother-sister. Or something. Oh god, is this she like really a Lannister thing? This why They're both blonde. No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great <clears throat> school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But like she's, on the roof, if it is Chloe's voice like, actress, she's like at least far. like doing like the more Valley Girl sounding accent. Kate was dosed. Kate was dosed at the last Vortex Club party. party. <laughs> Every weird ass dance so, move. You should avoid any drink here tonight. True. But trust me, I won't even drink my own. I don't like to be told what to do. Now. I want to do it on my own He's accord. He's a pharmacy simulator. I do have Microsoft Pharmacy now. Simulator 2013. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. Thanks for talking to me about that in episode two. You're welcome. I really am a good person. I'm not a nosy bitch. That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. He's just feeling it out, you know? He's like, he's gotta find the rhythm still. Oh, the game's like enough enough of him. Is that the same model? Shut up, Hayden. Is this the same girl? I think they're wearing different shirts, but I think it's like the same face. She's got the, <laughs> why would they put them so close to each other? She's got the glasses and the pony. Oh gosh, she's done. <laughs> she's done. She's wasted. And She's an open mouth sleeper out. like I am. Nobody learns at Blackwell. Guarantee that's how I got COVID. Because I slept like that on the plane. Ugh, everyone, all COVID molecules, just get in here. It's fucking, there's no list like the Vortex Club. Everyone's allowed. Come on in, COVID. Chips and crackers. Spare no expense, Vortex Club. Is it least Ritz? I see Pringles. Um... Get me, get me some drinks, barman. So the vortex. And everyone calls him Barky. Real alcohol at their underage bar. Again. It's just that one bottle, and he doesn't know how to open it. Oh, wait, it's a shaker. Well, he's he's doing a better job with that than I have on stream. So. Fringies. You ever see the post that's like, uh, it's like Pringles doing a like a Christmas campaign, so their cans look different, and it says Merry Pringles. <laughs> And like, there's like a comment underneath it that's like, It could have been Merry Christmas, you fucking idiots! You motherfuckers! Merry Pringles, that's not anything! That's nothing! Oh god, I love that. No, Logan, you're not <laughs> Merry Pringles. Any it's like they didn't even fucking try. Or like, Pringle Bells, Pringle Bells, Pringle all the way, something, something. Logan. Logan. Can I talk to you for a second? Max, alright. I'll talk after you shake that booty for Uh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> a fierce rebuttal of the advances. And you want to hang with Nathan? Why? Did, uh... <laughs> did white high schoolers in Oregon know about twerking in 2013? I guess they had to if it's, if it's written into the game. Um, I just remember that. I feel like that, for being in the cultural consciousness... As a white dude in, uh, you know, Northeastern PA. I feel like 2013 is early, but maybe that's like right around when it started to become a big thing. Business with Nathan. Business. 
I mean, it was around for way longer. I just mean, like, in the, you know, the zeitgeist, I suppose. Maybe at the dinner first. Logan, this is a swimming pool. Are you, are you Chloe as well? As Victoria, she always. You're just doing a voice. Don't you ever want to see Max? You're so cute. We never really talk. This is like the first combo we've ever had. You're a dick, Logan. <laughs> you on Dana when she was I then picked up her pee stick, stick, you loser. Why would you do that? It's so invasive. Bro, you are giving me the full body tackle. I already <laughs> feel like an ass for picking on Dana. Oh, you're right, you're right. God, that was 2013. You could start by wow. trying to sex up every female in front of you. The rest is your choice. Use it well, bro. Oh. It still feels like something I've only been aware of for like maybe six, seven years, but it's obviously. Oh. No, excuse me. Damn. That was way more exciting than the dance. Catch you later, Max. <laughs> I like that Max just completely fucking dressed him down. What's up, Victoria? Maybe Logan will start taking his choices seriously. I'm glad I called him a dick. That was good. This is like a, an actually pleasant date. I'm gonna save Victoria for last because she's the most important. How did all of these people get in? I guess Dana's cool, right? I guess these people are all cool kids. So I, I have a, I have a good like uh, in with the cool crowd. Most of these people are friendly with me. So hi, Dana. Yeah, Trevor seems like a catch. Just fucking bump it into me. Oh, he's got a little, he got a little stanky leg in there. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, I love the double finger point. That's the move. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> wow. Okay, what's up, Dana? Hey, Max, That's it. I'm going ten dollar mode, you fucker. Fucking nobody dressed up. Everyone's in their plain clothes Dana, or swimsuits. Have you seen Nathan around? The lamest yeah, Halloween party ever. This would have been the year to dress as Miley at the VMAs, right? When did the VMAs happen? That was earlier in 2013, right? End of the world. You really don't need to capitalize the O and the T there, but whatever. How's the end of the world? <laughs> Eliza! <laughs> this has been the worst fucking week of my life, so I needed to act like a carefree student tonight. For Kate. I hear you, Dana. The writing is my passion. I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, you know, I don't have, I don't even have a writing degree, okay? But <laughs> just like, what would, okay, so this girl's had a really stressful week and she wants to be a carefree student. She just wants to like forget all of it and just be a carefree student. How do we express that? Oh, she should say, I had such a shitty week. I just want to be like a carefree student right now. Good. Nailed it. Nailed it, French team of writers. Help, but not from I don't know if they're French. <laughs> I feel like they are, but I, I could be wrong. He's like canonically a bad dancer. <laughs> he keeps doing this this double finger point. It's bad, Max. I love that Trevor doesn't care how goofy he dances in the VIP section. <laughs> I love that he is like everyone's acknowledging. Like, everyone here is a bad dancer, but we're at least acknowledging that Trevor is the worst. The Vortex Club actually hired DJ Doom for the party. DJ Doom? <laughs> Big deal here in Arcadia Bay. Fuck your selfie. Yo, Victoria drew this. Oh, that makes me want to pull Carrie on the Vortex Club. Well, I haven't seen Carrie. All I really know is that the girl has a bunch of blood on her face. So I guess that could be disturbing. Yo, we're Mackie behind the this thing. That that took so much maneuvering. <laughs> that's that's uh I honestly I admire the commitment. I'm surprised they even put this back here. That's so funny. <laughs> 
It's really dark in there, yeah. You can't really see them, they like, will be us. No. No, they were, they were kissing. Oh, I can reminisce. Kate almost dead. Rachel dead. Enter the Vortex Club. Look at these entire Look at fucking episodes. DJ Doom. They don't give a shit about anybody. Ah, uh, that makes sense. That tornado came right now. I would just sit here and watch for a while. But I have to make Some sure like this makes you want to kill a bunch of page. high school students. <laughs> All right, Max, just be cameras, careful because of the climate. Dark. Not the angry. best <laughs> not the best venue to be expressing that. Bam, 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 bam. Correct me if I'm wrong, I can't think of a single video game. And I, I mean, I haven't played every video game, but has anyone attempted like a school shooty sort of concept? Is that even allowed? Like, I'm just thinking about like Max expressing that she wants to like, you know, go crazy on this, you know, on this uh, school. And it's like uh, the fact they would even reference that at this day and age, even back in 2015. Um, like, not where you're, like, playing as the guy doing it, but, like, if that's even a plot point or reference. Like, I feel like it's so taboo, like, it'll never be touched. <clears throat> Zachary, They've done you anything you can think of in a video game. Your balls on a loop. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. That tracks us, per. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? She better be careful. So These guys are talking about, uh, Gen 6 Pokemon. I believe the uh, Sun and Moon, not Sun and Moon, um, X and Y just came out and they're like talking about like what features they think were best left behind in Gen 5. Um, like it's just a genuine conversation between two nerds. Bam, ba -dam, bam, bam. All right, Victoria. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. I hate Gen Sorry. 6. I'm on the no, wait, no. Gen 6 is good. I Gen 7, I hate. Um, I keep getting the mixed up. Me, yeah! Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Black? Do you know that the principal's name is Wells and he's black? Do you know how lazy that is for them to just do that? What are you talking about, Max? The writers, Victoria. These these French men. They control everything. We we go to Blackwell and the guy's name is Wells and he's black. How could they do that? We can't let them get away with it. All right, we're not going to blame anybody. We're just going to ask about Nathan. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party. Everybody is wasted. What do you want from me? It's all humanity, <laughs> Victoria. Well, and maybe rum and coke if you have a minute. Well, so ask the bartender to get me one. And I'm the only person here. I'll take it to Keel's Sunrise. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. <laughs> Thanks for the reminder. A photographer and get famous. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for burying your entire soul. You suck. Um, this isn't like a hard choice, but um, I think these could have impacts on on what happens. So I I don't want to be mean to her. Um, I'm gonna tell her she has talent. Don't have to push people out of your Pick way. Jeff. You don't understand. I'm a teenager at the my party. My name is Victoria. My hair is blonde and short, and I'm wearing a little necklace. Thank you, Victoria. Thanks. You don't have to play their way. For the record, this is in my top 30 games of all time. I love this game. And he's famous. Yeah, Mr. Jefferson probably won't be choosing my photo. I'm not as talented as I thought. Yes, you are. But... We shouldn't have to choose between talent and kindness. Unironically, I think when at least one party is tipsy, this is the best time to have, like, a trying to make someone turn a new leaf conversation. Like, if we were both drunk, this would go even smoother. Th th those are, like, the best times to, like, just get fucking real with people and to be like, listen, you're, you're being a colossal megazord bitch to me and there's no reason. Like, you don't have to do that. Like, we can just be chill. And, like, you're, I feel like, I mean, some people are angry drunks. I would be pretty receptive to it. Um, and I would also have the courage and the lack of anxiety to bring that up in the first place. But I don't always make the best choices. 
Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Like only only a tipsy to drunk person would say something like that. Um, we're not enemies, we just disagree. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. <laughs> so good. Well, Max, that would be know, us. I could always choose or the to French like writers. I don't think that's gonna happen. Mm. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Mm. Uh, Dark Knight came out a good couple of years ago, so I guess it's fresh enough. <laughs> uh, alright, I'll let you guys vote on this. <clears throat> My Nathan was a drinker and a fiend. Uh, what to do? Warn Victoria, do not warn. Vote now. Because at the end of the day, this is still a playthrough dictated by the chat. <clears throat> Unless we're just being real sickos today. Listen, there's uh, there's safety in numbers for the sickos, you know? If, if you want to pull this off, pull off a sicko coup, you can. Um, Victoria's fate is in your hands. All right, it's pretty uh, conclusively warn her. Although there are six sickos who said don't warn, so. This is 2024, we are warning her. <laughs> okay. There's a room that's really dark. Victoria! Enough of this high school bullshit. We're adults now. But we are in high school. Like, yes, we are adults technically in the eyes of the law. But it, like, if there is a time for high school bullshit, it would have to be high school. That's like the peak window to do that. Listen to me. Your life but I get what she means, danger. you know. know there are things bigger than high school drama. He is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark oh my god and i'm the drama queen <laughs> touche but i am not fucking around you sorry but no no way nathan is like one of my best friends yes he takes serious meds but that's not his fault his family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns not it's like oddly me. compassionate of victoria that she's like you know protective of nathan even though he's a big monster um but it also might just be because it gives her access to, like, you know, money and party drugs. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. I don't believe anything you say. You're full of shit. Oh, hi, I'm Max Caulfield, and I'm so sensitive that butterflies make me cry. Now, will you listen? <laughs> Sometimes now, it's really I emotional. You're just pissed because you didn't enter a photo in the contest and that Mr. Jefferson is going to pick me. A real artist would have busted ass to win, but you just want to take your little retro selfies. That is so fucking lame and lazy, Max. Just go find a community college. Just because you think someone else's content is lame and lazy doesn't mean you should make a whole stink out of it. Especially after what happened with Kate. It's not good. That's your problem, Max. This is a party, and it's the end of the world, so I am going to It's something that you shouldn't do. You won't bother me anymore. Let Nathan know if he finally shows up. Adios. Oh, <clears throat> wow. Um, yeah, so if I were nice to Victoria and not taking the picture after the whole go fuck your selfie moment with the paint, then she would have believed me there um, and not been rude. But, uh, you know, that's because you guys wanted to do that back in episode one or two. So that's actually your fault. Uh, what's up, Dab Salty Moose? Thanks for popping in. Chloe, why were you being so rude to me at the table earlier? Okay, I tried. And that wig looked ridiculous. She's not gonna believe me over her vortex club I mean, party. or I could try to rewind it. Maybe I can. Come on! Listen, we're petty. <laughs> we want the best for her, but we're also petty as fuck. I mean... I still need to warn her again, right? I'm holding down every button I can think of to make this speed up. So, let's try this again, I guess. Real? Do you even have a Unless we have like new dialogue to convince her, I don't really know if we can change anything. Don't blame. I don't blame you, Victoria, but 
you know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. It's more than oh, stupid. Oh, great excuse. It's mean, hateful. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Maybe I'm not her friend, but I didn't get off on Kate attempting suicide. I'm not evil, Max. Everything's all fun and games you, Victoria, until there's actual stuff of consequence you. happening. That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. For what? Sorry, Teehee. I got wine drunk. It's one o'clock somewhere. Yeah, Zany emoji. Ah! <laughs> you have talent. You don't. No! <laughs> yeah. No! Yes! Yes! We're not enemies. Maybe. Whoever. That would, that would be us. What? Oh, why so serious? Dark room. Yeah, she's not gonna believe me. I, there's nothing I could have said different. I I picked all of the the friendliest um, dialogue options. So, Sawi, what's up, Chloe? Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody <laughs> if you want something, you. don't think, act. <laughs> oh wait, no, that's isn't that the actual quote? I read this Titus. But I want everything. That's what I was thinking of. Mr. Jefferson, why are you here? This is like super illegal. What's happening? You look like you're on a mission. You look like you're on some kind of Life is Strange squad. Uh huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this. We're not. Remember when we were in Principal Wells' office and we were all yelling at each other? You were there. Kate's situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. <laughs> Mr. I Jefferson, so. I, I, okay, I don't like support oh, narcs and snitches, but you should probably that. report this to your superiors. You would super lose your job if they knew you were here and just let this happen. Like, <laughs> okay, okay, everybody calm down. I've always thought this was so weird. Why is the announcing of the winner of the contest part of this student-run party? Thank you. Thank you. Like, this is, like, is this the best time to be doing this? You're so hot, Mr. Jefferson! Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered Like, it's so weird. And everybody who thought about it. <laughs> oh, they, I was joking, but I forgot that I was riffing. I thought <laughs> they actually say that. He's so hot! ...is the most important step in being an artist. <laughs> Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy. And everything... Like, this is a school assembly that should happen at, like, a quarter to twelve. <laughs> like, in the middle of the school day. Like, this... The, <laughs> the candor and the tenor of this moment is, like, for something that we're all... Like sitting in assembly seats in a row, why? Why is it at like the, the most debaucherous occasion imaginable? Our school stands for. I always thought that was so I'm weird. You're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is. And it's not even like I'm sorry, it's not even like uh, like the big thing that the school is concerned with. It's not like, uh, oh, hey, like, one of our field hockey players is on the Olympics team or something. No, it's like, this one niche class has a contest, this non-mandatory, <laughs> so it's like, we're gonna use this time to announce the winner? Oh my. So weird. What a shocker. Victoria Chase. Oh my god! Boo! <laughs> Boo, Victoria! <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography. <laughs> Take the shot, Chloe. Well, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. Oh, he, he only got it right here. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. Woo. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She <laughs> is the real everyday hero of Blackwell. And I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. <laughs> That's so good. I was just waiting for that. You suck, Victoria. <laughs> I love that. 
<laughs> yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. And I want Nathan's punk ass. That was a uh, Riku replica ass line reading. I want Nathan's punk ass. Oh Christ! Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit! We have to go to the junkyard right now. I didn't say this in the moment, but I thought the way that they framed and just handled the Rachel body discovery was beautifully well done. Um, some people are like, why didn't they like show like her like any actual part? Like you see, you see some clothes, like tattered clothes in there. Um, Stop stomping I think that would have been a bit tacky. Right. I think it. You don't need just to see anything. Um, I think the whole thing is just shot so well. <clears throat> New moon just dropped. Uh, eclipse next year. I'm breaking dawn after, I think. Now, those of you who were with me for True Colors remem may remember when I said, uh, how oh, this gives me big junkyard Life is Strange 1 vibes. You're gonna suffer, Nathan. Oh my god, the biggest rat in the history of Oregon? Oh my lord! I've never seen a rat like that in Oregon. What the? F that was huge. Um, Rachel, I will get your revenge. Is it over here, Chloe? Where are we going? Oh my God, Big Bird. Big Bird, like the Western philosopher who once said, "Open sesame." Is this it, Chloe? You you would know better. Where's your friend's body? It's so creepy out here. I don't remember where we dug her up. But yeah, if you were there back in 2021. We had a scene very much like this, very like similar time of night, Come over here, some misty quick. fog elements. And I was like, man, this is like junkyard Life oh, is Strange God, 1 look. vibes. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh! Oh! Needle! My time powers don't work! I guess that's another time where they crap out somewhere to the Kate Holy roof situation. Look out. What the fuck? Oh! Chloe. And we can't rewind. Because our powers are broken. It's Daniel. Oh, it's Mark. Mr. Fucking Jefferson. Now, <laughs> when I tell you that I did not see that shit coming when I played initially, I was like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. It's Daniel. D yeah, I meant Daniel. Uh, Daniel De La Costa, but um, yeah, you painterly bearded motherfucker. And that's the end of episode four. But we've got time. We can uh, chip away into episode five. Um, yeah, rancid man. Oh yeah, it's the best moment of the game by far. Like you can after my stream, go look up like Life is Strange Jefferson reveal compilation. It's <laughs> it's bonkers. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. And the signs are there. Like, you find the duct tape in the bunker that we just examined this episode. And there's the tripod, and there's duct tape in a, in a broken tripod uh, in Jefferson's classroom. Uh, obviously, you have, like, all the expensive photo equipment. He's just in the game enough that, like, he's a he's a possible suspect. But, um, you know, there, there's enough there for plausible deniability. Because it doesn't really make sense yet as to why... Uh, he'd be doing any of this, but he's going to explain it uh, shortly. I mean, he is a weirdo, yeah. <coughs> but, you know, Madsen, Samuel, Nathan, uh, they're all, uh, Frank, they're all just like red herrings. Um, which I think, uh, you know, I, I quibble with the dialogue choices in, in this game at times, but I, in, in terms of Joe Ackman, wasn't he uh, Jiminy? I think he's Jiminy, uh, William, uh, Chloe's dad. Um, I, I take issue with some writing choices, but in terms of, like, the plot structure of Life is Strange and that moment, um, you know, I, I know a lot of people like to be cool and say, like, oh, it was so obvious, like, I, you know, completely saw it coming. And maybe some people did. I didn't. 
and uh, I'm, you know, I was floored by that moment. It's one of my most memorable reveals in the game, so props to them for that. All right, let's see your choices. Oh, this is the same episode where we we refused to kill uh, alternate Chloe. God, that was so long ago. Um, episode four took three episodes of the stream. Um, we let Warren beat up Nathan, like true heroes would, like an everyday hero might. Honestly, I could have submitted to the everyday heroes competition, and maybe Mr. Jefferson would have needle wouldn't have kneeled me in the neck if I submitted a photo of Warren doing this <laughs> over Nathan's body in the boys dorm because we were everyday heroes we beat the shit out of a trust fund kid that's how more how much more heroic can you get um no one got hurt at the uh wait really oh yeah yeah yeah. we had to rewind like a million times last week but we eventually got it so that no one got hurt at uh the frank altercation uh victoria did not believe my warning uh, i tried but she wouldn't believe me because we were bitches back in episode two or whatever Next, uh, we saved the blue jay. I I'm always saving that fucking bird. Uh, we didn't disturb the bird's nest 100% because I did not find it, and most of these people did not find it. 7% of people. <laughs> I feel like if you find the bird's nest, you still have the choice to not disturb it, but 7 people were like, or 7% were like, fuck it. Let's disturb these birds. Um, we got David's files in another way. I don't even remember what that was. Uh, Kate helped you find Nathan's room. Well, I guess she wouldn't help us if she got killed in the uh, earlier episode. So there's that. Um, we told Daniel not to go to the party. 30% were sickos and told him to go. Um, I didn't leave a message on Warren's slate because I want nothing to do with him. I figured out Nathan's pin code. Oh, it was his birthday. So we, we could have done that without the pin code? I have no idea how. Uh, we did help Alyssa, so good stuff. All right. And... Here's our teaser for episode 5. And for the record, for those who are unaware, weren't there in the moment. And thankfully I played this once all the episodes were out. But you just had to wait, like, months. Like, you get this Jefferson reveal, and you you see this, and then have fun waiting, like, 2-3 months. Because it was episodic. True Colors was all at once. Um... Every other game was on the south. Yeah. Before the storm in two, we were both on the Do we know that double exposure is going to be all at once? Please let it be. I would assume it is. Um, episode 5 polarized. Well, let's do it. Let's get in there. Previously <clears throat> on Life is Strange. Thank God. Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room, over and over. That's it. We can't trust. Yeah, I feel like the episodic Rachel. release style was more of like a mid 2010s no, you thing. Chloe think you know more than Telltale obviously like did it a lot. <clears throat> oh look, the one. And in a way, I think it's cool because like you can get feedback about the games, but then on the other hand, like I, I kind of don't want fans to give feedback in the middle of the production you know like i like there, there's gonna be references like they're gonna reference the the whole mission where we had to get all the bottles uh in like episode two or three like that's gonna be referenced in this episode as like something that the fans really didn't like um but i would hate to think that you know they would change the plot based on like fan speculation i don't think they would what are you doing in my door um so, so there's pros and cons to the episodic the thing. I think there's more cons, God. but... I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <clears throat> <sighs> but like, in terms... Of, sorry, I keep pausing. But, like, in terms of, like, like fine-tuning gameplay or, like, cleaning up certain assets or whatever, I think it could be a good thing. Um, but in terms of, like, the story or, like, getting a little too self-referential and too meta, I don't know if I love that. First, no, she did! All those binders are filled with other <laughs> yeah, Cage World by World what release. What are you doing here, Matt? Has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Honestly, it would be really good for me, like business-wise, but um, from a product standpoint, I wouldn't love it. The fandom would be going crazy. Like, the fandom would be dialed up to 11. You know, every time there's a world dropping. I know you're close to Nathan, but your life... 
wife is in serious danger. Fuck you, just Max. Texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh. Oof. Jefferson needle oh. attack. Painterly motherfucker. No. Also great shot, just all of this. Immaculate. By the way, <laughs> just to follow up from uh, last stream of this game, I did go and capitalize all of the is's in the Life is Strange appearances on the channel. I went to every video, changed the I to capital, I went back to True Colors, changed that, changed the name of the playlist, because once I know that it's gotta be that, I've gotta fix it. So, um, if anyone comes across any uncapitalized is's in Life is Strange, Please, please alert me. It's not for you, Chara. It's for me. Okay? I don't care what you guys think about it at all. It's for my own sanity. I can't be having improper grammatical titles appear on the channel. <clears throat> but it's not capital on Twitch? What the fuck? <laughs> You're right. The category is lowercase is. Oh, God. I don't know. Is and are are supposed to be capitalized. At least that's, I mean, that's how the game, like, that's the name of the game. Life, capital is, strange. Yeah, don't thank me. Move your big toe, Max. <clears throat> Isn't that a thing? Kill Bill, I don't know. She's stuck. Like, in hindsight... <laughs> It should be so obvious that it's Jefferson. Like, there's so much fucking photography equipment, you know? All of the photos that are of a similar, you know, sort of style and genre as the ones you see in Jefferson's room. But it's just like, I was just completely not thinking about him at all. I thought like, okay, all the adults are pretty shitty. Like, he's not perfect, but he's one of the better ones. But he's actually the worst of them all. So... And for the record, I believe my adult ranking of the Life is Strange... What the fuck is going on? Um, my Life is Strange adult ranking was William at the top, then uh, Miss Grant, then Samuel. <sighs> was it Principal Wells next, sadly? Um, then David, Frank, Mr. Jefferson. And the only reasoning I provided for Jefferson is that his, he had a bad goatee. Chloe? What? Where? Oh, Joyce was fourth. I had Joyce beneath Samuel. Because she's just like, Oh, domestic violence as a treat. David's been so good this week. What am I doing? Is anybody out there? Please Hello? Help. Is anyone there? Hello? Oh, shit. That's me. He took that shot last night. I'm getting absolutely trolled at the end of the world party. If I could move it towards me. Detach. Just press the detach button, idiot. Oh wow, it actually worked. There you go, there you go, Dawson. Finally, I'm free. Technically, I think it's Almost. a Night of the Living Dead reference or whatever zombie movie, but that's what I was referencing. God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Pull. Pull. <clears throat> um, should I look at the photo? I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. God, I don't remember anything that happened. What was my this plan? Must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. What exactly? Oh, there we go. I can focus on it. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. So I love that this feature comes back. Well, not this part specifically. I hate this. Um, but I love that. Oh wait, did I get it? Nope. I love that Max remembers. And they, frankly, the writers in the game remember that, hey, we uh, we did this to go to the alternate Chloe wheelchair timeline, and now we can also go back. 
well actually you didn't go to the, the wheelchair timeline you went to um back to when they were kids before william died but that in change or in effect made the uh wheelchair timeline what the fuck i hate this so much Yes, hold space to autofocus on the photo. That's something where you sh you take feedback <laughs> and then you just get rid of that whole thing. Just make it a cutscene where she does it. <laughs> ADHD simulator. So now we're a few hours in the past. But I guess we're lucid now? Kind of an interesting idea, like, we're time traveling back to a, a picture taken of us where we're not fully lucid. So do we have our lucid brain? Or is Max still kind of fucked up? Hold that stare there. Stay still. People have had gripes in, in their critiques of Life is Strange for like, okay, now Jefferson has revealed himself as the villain. Now he's like this irredeemable monster who like talks like a villain. But like, I don't really know what you really want them to do. Like, you kind of have to. I think part of the message there and part of the the lesson, so to speak, is that. Like, people like this can just be walking amongst you. They can be, you know, your parents or your teachers or whatever. And they're going to drop that veneer and, and be that monster that they've been containing. Like, I don't know if you want him to continue talking like he's trying to get Max to enter the Everyday Heroes contest. Like, I, I get that it's, like, a huge shift and a huge turn for, for his attitude. But, like, that makes it all the more unsettling and disturbing and, and cathartic um, for a villain reveal. So, I don't know. Like, why is Jefferson talking like this? Because he's been, he's been holding it in like he's a monster. But he's like the kind of monster that could contain... Like, he's not a Nathan who's so obvious. You were special um, the second I saw your first... And that makes him all the scarier. Yes. I still hate that word. But I like, I'm sure there are lines here and there that I would change to make it not so normy, but... I don't know. Always looking I think generally places. the direction that they take him is the only logical way to do it. Wait. Let me try this angle. Yeah, like he's a deranged, narcissistic don't move. madman, you know? Cruelty is is a means to his end of producing Gosh. art. Better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around him. Now, what I've not ever really understood is, like, is he just doing this for himself? Like, to just have them? Or is... Because, like, you can't, like, publish these because then the people who are in them... Like, Kate's still... Kate's still alive, so it's not like... You know what I mean? Or if, if they were dead, <laughs> like, Mark Jefferson can't publish them. under Like, maybe under a pseudonym, but then that's that's, like... A huge can of worms so is it like is he selling them on like the dark web like what it like is he making any money from this or is it just like for his own sick like twisted kicks expect a cohesive style or <clears throat> theme but he had an eye for shadows that's something i never got and an eye for a whole lot more. because like he had he has photos of like really despondent looking women like you see that in the classroom and i think like out displayed on the school and it's like, oh, it's like, these are posed shots of, like, models doing this. But then it's like, okay, wait, were they, like, victims? And then, like, he published these, but then, like, th there was no connection. Like, I never understood, like, the the line there between, like, the stuff that he can put out because it was, like, a consensual thing and then stuff that's, like, fucked up like this. As his elite family will find out, mm. along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh. Those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24 7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into Oh, so, hands. again, sorry to keep pausing, but the note that we read on the table when we initially went into the bunker. Um, where it was like, Nathan, don't contact me on your own phone. Use the disposable phones that I give you. Max was like, oh, wow, like, his dad is so fucked up. That was actually a note from Jefferson, because Nathan is, like, Jefferson's little creepy protege. Um, you can, if you go back and look, you'll see that there's, like, there's no signage there. On, like, that's, like, actually another hint, is that Sean Prescott always signs his correspondence with S. Prescott, 
Um, but that letter had the bottom torn off and there was no signage on it. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed it. That Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had... Like, I take a little bit of umbrage with the writing here because it is, like, very grandstandy. Like, I know that I'm a mono like a monologuing villain in a piece of fiction. Um, but, like, I don't know how else you convey the information. But it is, like, very self-satisfied. Um, Troubled history, like but, most Arcadia Bay you know, dropouts. Like I said, I have no qualms with some of it, but... Or care. Though I promise... People will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Yeah, syndrome and never. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed. Like, My this way. is good. This Jefferson stuff is good because, like, I'm obviously I'm not, like, it's not a good thing to do, but in terms of as a character and as a post-twist reveal, like, this sort of manic, like, don't fuck up my art, like, that's, I really like when they lean into that. Um, but when, when he does, like, the expository, like, you know, here's what you missed on Glee. I shot Chloe because, actually, Nathan shot her because Nathan is going to be my fall guy for this. Like, that's not as good. It's really when they Maybe. lean into that angle of it. But this is all well done, I think. Now, don't move, or this will hurt much. <clears throat> Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? That's the second best enunciation of the word bitch in this episode. Stupid bitch! God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. That's because I'm a time wizard now. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. I wish Chloe would have taken the shot when you were giving the <laughs> giving the Everyday Heroes Award. Fuck. So I guess that kind of confirms, like, that was mostly just a vehicle for us as the player to see what happened there. Because there was no gameplay function of us going back there and, uh, you know, witnessing that. Um, but I think that confirms that, like, you're stuck in the mind state that you were in. You can, you can have the information of the future, but I feel like if you're if you're in an altered state, that remains because Max was completely helpless there. Um, even though we time traveled as someone who is fairly lucid. Um, camera. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Wait, Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. Oh, I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Let's do it again. Can I please just spacebar immediately? Work. Please work. Please work. I'm holding space. Really? They make you struggle with it? <laughs> oh! Oh, God. This is the worst part of the game. Like, you have to struggle with it, and then the game pities you after, like, 30 seconds. I know, I'm trying. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't, like, use the AD keys and the left, right mouse button, and to, like, it, that is not useful information. I'm just mashing both of them, hoping that I land on it. Ah. <sighs> Ooh, I'll take things that the Struggle Tournament sponsor and Mark Jefferson would both say for 500. I'm not going to say it. And if you've been listening to the streams this week, you know that I've brought up the Struggle Tournament sponsor quote on the bracket. Alright, we're back. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Bad. <laughs> yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but... She doesn't understand now. 
connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you. Your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about That's Rachel's happen. animal. Mr. Jefferson. I wonder if that was intentional. Why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Simply put, <laughs> I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment. Innocence. If See, I wish he didn't say this. Because, like, he's explaining the motivation. I think we can kind of extrapolate that on our own. And even if we don't, isn't it okay if we just think he's a fucked up little guy? Like, I hate that he has to explain, like, here's how I'm a, a fucked up little guy. I psychoanalyze myself, and let me explain. ...into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Like, how does it Those behoove you at all to sick. tell Max your, they like, photographic pervert philosophy? However, some Blackwell students carry their hope. Yeah, I guess he would. Optimism. Because he's a teacher. Brain. He's and a professor. He's, you know, that kind of makes sense. My models, my subjects. Yes, you're a psychopath, and this is your last session. <clears throat> Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. Mm. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Whoa. Go to hell. Go to hell. You will for everybody you've hurt. Unlike pure sweet Kate Marsh. I don't <laughs> believe in that bullshit. That's she actually a great line. Masterpiece. The world is what an artist makes it. And my muse. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well <laughs> savor it considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> That struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Damn, I should have Thank framed you so Jefferson. Much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. You use Nathan. You use Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. <laughs> with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. I, like, I don't need you to say that either. It's so obvious from all of the context. I, I know I'm really picking apart because this is like such a pivotal part of the story and the writing. Um, but I, you don't need to say, you know, if you think about it, I'm more of a father to Nathan than his own father. Like, we, we get it. We saw it like, we know. It happens often teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwood? Like, have a, just have a bit more faith in, in the audience, you know? I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access... Again, saying this as someone who loves this game. ...paid for this glorious dark room and equipment. How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an Yeah, like house. I said, you know, this type of character also having, you know, also uh, daylighting as a, as a teacher, um, I feel like helps excuse, like, the tendency to monologue and to preach because that's what he does for a living. He, you know, stands in front of people and lectures. Um, so in that way, I think, you know, it's better that that's his profession than if it were someone like a David Madsen or a Samuel who have no business, like, you know, grandstanding and, and talking that, that long um, and that confidently. Uh, why Rachel? Why Rachel? <laughs> yeah, I'm a professional I yapper, Max. Everything. That's what I do. But she was special. A human chameleon. So many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. Did you know Frank? <laughs> he always was talking about beans. He had a knife at all times. Also had a connection with Frank. Let's be honest. She was doing the classic bad boy thing. She was over Frank before it began. He just didn't know. Oofa. Anyway. Oofa. Yeah, I'm a hobbyist dead. yapper as well. 
but no tears. You know the bean man. The bean man. The bean man. The bean man. This is a favor. You know the bean man who lives in the RV down by the lake. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes, we are. I cared more about. We're not so different, you and I. You didn't. We both abused Nathan just in different ways. With Rachel, he actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Come Nathan on with now? that. Come on. Dead and buried. That's <laughs> chilling, though. Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege. Like, it ping-pongs from so good to so now bad. We'll never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't so compromise dead. my you vision. Stop. With so he happens professionally. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel <laughs> die, and everybody else. I do love your spirit. Gotta get that remastered so version. Here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. Whoa, so that's sure. something that we use in this chat when talking about men. You can't co-opt that. <laughs> that's a vodka original. Now, Motherfucker! Let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work. <laughs> God, I I can't think of another uh, situation specifically where this trope happens, but like, I get so uncomfortable and such chills from like being in a really dire situation and there being like really pleasant music playing. Like there, the juxtaposition of the the situation and the sound, like it's obvious, like it's, you know, it's a tension building 101, but it's there's something really upsetting about that to me. Sorry, um, this is not art. This it's giving like the closest thing I can think of is <laughs> before killing a child. <laughs> okay, grew. Um, but the closest thing I can think of is when I was going under for surgery and th there was music on, but it was like fucking, you know, top 40 shit. Um, but they're like, it's, it's so sterile and then like so fun and, and pleasant. And the contrast of that is really unsettling. Like the music is playing to put you at ease, but it really invoked the opposite reaction from me. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. I can still rewind, thankfully. I don't need to hold my hand like this in the air, all shaky. I can do it. I mean, I just gotta do this. She's always really dramatic with it in the moment. This one's but focus, I can just do this right now. It's that's fine. That's enough. Fault, Shut up, Mark. You douche. So we're gonna do the time warp. Ooh. Scooshity douchity. <laughs> okay. Remember from episode one? No. Let's see how- wait, Mark, wait! Please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really- I was reading the subtitles, and I don't know, I guess it's just a, a bad brain thing, but I thought he was going to say, I'd love to talk shop, but I've really got to poop. Need to go over I think I saw the P and the OP above it, and I was like, why did he just say he has to go poop? <laughs> That'd be really funny. <laughs> I've got to go poop right now. Was a career um, sorry if I answered this already, but as a writer, why do enemies tend to draw out their evil plans to the victim? Is it just to make the story longer? No, I think it's, <laughs> I think it's to give context to their motivations. But when it's all done at the last second, and I'm not somebody who really writes fiction a lot. Um, I mean, nowadays basically never. But even back when I was, you know, in college and out of college, I hardly did any fiction writing. But it's not really to lengthen the story. I think it's more so to like, like here's why. Me as it like since this this character has basically been a fake version of himself. Now we have to like backload all of the exposition and the and the context and the reasoning for why he is the way he is. Um, and also, it's you know it's for tension building. Like it's it's a moment. It's going to be a moment of hubris, especially in not in this situation specifically, but in other pieces of media where like you know they they spend that time monologuing and that gives the hero a chance, you know, to. Uh, to get an opening there because the villain was so arrogant and the arrogance is the downfall. Um, that's not really being implemented here so much, but we are going to manipulate Jefferson's tendency to, you know, monologue um, and be willing to entertain what we have to say because an efficient 
serial murderer freako would just like you know be strict business not talk to the person not explain anything because why they're going to be dead anyway um but because mark is such a narcissist um we can manipulate that so i want my diary please you you still have my diary don't worry nobody's going <laughs> exactly to Baca. thanks for reminding me there's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary a weird thing to say oh. Look at your selfies. Just look at your selfie, what a Max. Waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. <laughs> you can do so much better. I'm also not a photographer, but I feel like he's kind of right. Like the head's cut off. Like it's just a weird framing. Is this a real song too? I want to know if, like, because usually like the licensed music is uh, non-diegetic. But is this real, and is any of the oh, Vortex God, Club party one. music real? This and when, when I say real, I mean like, you know, existing life. prior to Life is Strange. Alright, let's do this fucking thing again. We're going back to uh, class from episode one. And the game's still going to make me struggle with this. I'd give you more advice, but I'm feeling selfie-ish. <laughs> Was that a bad pun? Oh, I'm so sorry. You stupid bitch! <laughs> I love when characters burst into rage. It doesn't matter if they're villain or not. Just the 0 to 100 nature of an outburst like that fucking cracks me up every time. You stupid bitch! I can't do it. I can't do it. Anyway, I, did, I never really got to fully wrap up my thoughts on how funny it would be if Mark Jefferson had Max here ready to drug her and kill her. And then they go, Max, I'd love to talk, but I've, I've really got to go poop. Um, shout out to me being unable to read. Come on. I could frame anyone. Um, and no, I don't have to poop. I do have to pee, so I will be right back. Hang tight. Oh, hang. Enough of that. All right, we're back. Dark corner. Thankfully, my bathroom is much closer to my office now. I believe Max Less has taken what you commute. kids call a selfie. A dumb I'm back. A right back where I started this insane week. 
and nobody is going to. Oh, so listen to what Jefferson's saying. He's saying basically his whole fucked up little thing. For Chloe, ever again. has been popular since the early I'm going to miss it already, actually. Your generation was not the first to use images for He said, if he says it later, he, he might, um, but he, uh, he says, I could frame anyone, or I could, I could capture any one of you in a dark corner and frame you in a moment of desperation. Like, he says that the very first uh, line that he has in the game, or like one of the first lines. The expression. Um, so, so he just tells you basically that he could the do it and he will do it. The, the two of these people in here and attempted third. Aspect of art and photography for yeah, bro, it's not subtle. As long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first Daguerreotypes. portraits? They give things a sharp reflective, re reflective something like a mirror who cares <laughs> who cares this class is hella bullshit I'll <laughs> say that and let you try to answer one more if i were a teacher and, and a, like a student i'm not really like a hard ass but if, if a, te a student said that to me i'd be like get the fuck out fuck you get out of here <laughs> what the hell there's no time you're totally going to the principal's office at least for that this class is hella bullshit fuck you <laughs> I mean, your class is almost over. Oh. Well. <laughs> thanks for the warning, Max. <laughs> so, the Daguerrean process made portraiture quite <laughs> All the other kids are like, what the fuck? <laughs> clear to find features. Alyssa's like, that was awesome, Max. The assigned chapters. Do it again. Max Fucking kill him, Max. <laughs> Kill him with a knife. Guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo when the everyday heroes time to change time. Winter to San Francisco, where you'll be fetid by the first. Ah, oh, another Let's fetid. Real easy I don't to like that. Mark Jefferson. Melissa, get it together. Taylor. Don't tell me what to do, Mar. For your entry too, and yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. It's weird that's still his line even after I told him that his class is bullshit. Like, see me after class. Jefferson about that comment you made. I can't get up. <laughs> I've got a ton of Blackwell brochures, so I hope David's number is in there. I should take this opportunity to text my mom back. Mom, help! I'm stuck in a time loop situation. Uh, <laughs> that's That'd be my first instinct if I were Max's shoes. Like, Mom, is, you just gotta believe me on this. I'm tied to a chair in a fucking bunker. My teacher's trying to drug me. Yeah, if you could just get the cops here in four days. Okay, honey, that sounds great. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Mark Jefferson. After blazing a trail in the world of 1990s style and fashion photography, Mark Jefferson always knew he wanted to share his vision and inspire others. In the late 2000s, he took a well-publicized detour into teaching around the country, inevitably ending up in a permanent position at Blackwell Academy. Mr. Jefferson's classes on art and photography are some of the most popular in the school's rich history, and his students will certainly go on to inspire others with their own vision. And there's Miss Grant! And this guy, I don't know who he is. Found you. There he is. David Madsen. Um, we should also call Samuel, just to see how he's doing. Oh, thank you for calling, young Max. The squirrels have been zesty today. Bye, Samuel. Talk later. Um, I'll, I'll warn David last, just because that's progress. Get more you know flavor text. Did you your pictures would actually alter time Did and you space? Know? One day, your pictures will alter time and space. I hope I still love photography when this is done. This diary literally saved my life but it says it's a journal it's actually an m report <laughs> it's not a diary it's the d report like the poster has the indicator there but i can't examine it i wonder if that's a glitch that's kind of weird all right warn david for once david <coughs> me too <coughs> react to this as much as everything not else. well bitch <laughs> and take jefferson down fast Mr. Madison, you're after Rachel Amber. Mark Jefferson is guilty. His dark room is under the Prescott's farmhouse. You know the location. He's sick and dangerous. Stop him. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. There's gotta be a better person, David. Please bring your gun. San Francisco. <laughs> and Jefferson. Bring Chloe too. Be going to prison. Oh wait, she's gonna be dead unless we save her right now. I don't really remember the chronology. Because she's about to get shot by Nathan. Too hard. Um. 
But like, surely we could have contacted anybody besides David. I have to say, up, Rainy? David Russell would have been a better bet, and I love David Russell, but like, <laughs> he really would be better than David Madsen. Hi, Kate. Poor Kate. I'm gonna comfort Kate. Um, after I throw this paper ball at Victoria. This is the last time somebody bullies you, Kate. Dear Kate, we love your porn video. I have to read it like that every time Poor I see Kate. it. Wait, can I comfort her? There we go. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. Also, Max wearing a shirt that says Jane Doe, and that's like, you know, the name that they give women victims, like John Doe, Jane Doe. Um, the fact that she's like in a situation where she's going to be like buried in a shallow grave somewhere and could potentially be referred to as a Jane Doe. I've got crazy. No matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I mean, there's I like plausible deniability. Say. Like you can That's use it. Okay. You can use John or Jane Neither Doe do to refer to someone anonymous without we, any we morbid context up. there. But, you know, I think it was an intentional choice. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Yay, hugs. All right. There's that Rachel Amber forever. Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. It'd be crazy if she still said, like, the same shit that she always said. Like, wow, it was hella fucking cool when Mark let us take this picture on the first day. If only I could tell the whole class about Jefferson and watch him swim. We should. We should go back just for I fun. let David take care of everything. I mean, I guess Max is like, I better not fuck around with the powers. I'm in the past, in the past. But it'd be really funny to just be like, Jefferson, fuck you, you serial killer. And just, like, let the class react to that. So it wasn't a glitch. It was just populating early, I guess. Over for you, asshole. That's the worst thing that could happen to a person, is the 90s being over. But yeah, look, you can see, uh, I think this tripod is, like, broken. Or one of them is. There's a broken tripod somewhere. And then you can see the duct tape. Um... I thought it was in one of these cabinets. Maybe that's later when you're um, you're getting the materials to blow up the door when you sneak in. But there are hints. Oh, Victoria. We could have been friends. I think I read this already. But my phone is dead and I'm bored. Time to bust out my posy. <laughs> Victoria! Heaven, save it for the Vortex Club party. Jesus Christ. This, this is no place. Does not give you any extra talent, Victoria. <clears throat> the girl. Or excuses. Hello, in class. Will not hurt Kate Marsh this time. <laughs> yeah, hello. <laughs> that's what that's what Dot said. Hello. <laughs> hello. Axel, calm down. No one's busting any po poesy, okay? Not impressed anymore. <laughs> now this is all bullshit to me. Now I wonder how many victims Jefferson has left behind in his career. See, the thing is, though, like, I think I mentioned this. I don't know if it was in a Life of Str Strange stream. No, I think it was, I, I remember, actually, where I was. It was KH3 Olympus mod. Um, I was talking about, like, when really talented people do something fucked up, it doesn't help anybody to go back to that talented person's work and go, oh, it was never good anyway. Because that sort of, like, miss it, it misses the point, right? Like, it, you need to be cognizant of the fact that just because somebody is really good at something or really well-respected and regarded doesn't mean that just because they do something bad that that, sh that all that stuff they did is garbo. Um, you need to be aware of the fact that, like, those people are capable of, of really monstrous things and can still be really good at doing certain art or cameras, whatever. Um, right? Just think of Bad people can make good art. Them. It's true. Just a week ago, I was so naive about art. Like, I can't go past these oh. photo boundaries, so I need to fix everything from here. The photo boundaries concept is uh, an interesting one to me because, like, in the photo, you can only see this back wall. Like, you can see Max's face and this back wall. Uh, the game is, you know, the, the universe is being quite generous to give us access to the rest of this world space. Um, but, you know, for the sake of you know, an interesting scenario. You kind of have to do that. And every <coughs> hero is going to bust your ass, Jefferson. 
God, I would love if she said, I can't wait to watch some documentaries on this bad boy still. Fuck documentaries. I want to watch Final Fantasy The Spirits Within. I don't care what anyone says. That's the best fucking sci-fi film of all time. There's still some beauty left in Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I know I'm like reading all the flavor text, I still but you kind of have to. Like the lighthouse is That's like three-fourths of the game. I can hear Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson. Hark! That's a joke for Hamburger Splash. I'd like to bust this up right now. Hi, Victoria. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. Give me your mark. I see right through your <clears throat> oh, good. bullshit, Jefferson. It's a joke for T Mac as well. Everybody else will too. Mr. Jefferson, <clears throat> hard. <laughs> can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? I can see your That's kissing That's the best scene in that movie. Nothing new. What did you just say? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Not until Victoria knows that hiding behind a screen and posting videos of people is totally fucked up. It's you know totally hella not amazeballs. To destroy their life. Are you proud of yourself? If Victoria you gets fucking shook left, here. It's so funny. You should think about your actions. Listen, I, I didn't. Of course you did. You're so insecure, you can't even be happy with your own talent. You have to try and bring everybody down to your mean and ugly left. Okay, I do not have to listen to this bullshit. Do I, Mr. Jefferson? <laughs> well, it looks like you already did, Victoria. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> That's such a funny response to that. Well, first of all, Victoria being like, I don't have to listen to this. Wait, do I? Do I have to listen to this? You tell me what to do. And he's like, you kind of already did listen to all this bullshit. <laughs> then I guess I'm done talking. I sure hope so. So if you, if she believes you about the dark room, this conversation goes um, sort of the same. Like Max tells her off, but she's like a lot more receptive to it. Like she's stunned. Um, and Max is like not so angry, but more so like sort of, uh, I don't know. She's a bit more pompous about it. <laughs> and like just, just uh, there's a different tone of the scene. It's, uh, it's interesting to see how it plays out when she believes you. Um, but yeah, I, I like that whole moment as like, it's a typical fantasy of like, you know, telling the high school bully, like giving, giving a piece of your mind and it actually like kind of working. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy that, but <laughs> why? That's, Here's that's my a weird thing to say. for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No. Okay, Staples spokesperson Mark Jefferson. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge you. Yeah, my playthrough Victoria believed me, so Max was, like, a lot more, like, kind of light about things here. Like, she was just very, like, sure of herself I'm very and less angry sounding. Happy you decided so to it's end. interesting that to see the uh, contrast. to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there. Quote John Lennon right now. Get his ass. <laughs> to be it would be so funny. Innocent. Or guilty. Uh, well, thanks for the photo. Imagine how he's maybe thinking right now. Like, oh, she knows I'm a murderer, <laughs> right? Maybe only one of us will be going. She's basically Don't done so everything but nice. say it out loud that I'm a murderer. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. He's like, hmm, my painterly beard didn't like that at all. <clears throat> fuck, fuck, she definitely knows I'm a serial killer. Go to God. <clears throat> oh, shit. And none of the pictures are changing. Are they? That one changed. I feel like the first two didn't. Oh, we got him arrested. Not the pancakes. Oh, so they, the, the first two didn't change to show you that, like, not the entire storyline is affected by that. Just some of it. And then we got to the end of the week when um, David gets the tip and they get Jefferson arrested. We got the good end. <clears throat> Oh, wait, did Kate still jump? I missed that. 
I, I don't remember what her picture on the roof changed to. Those are my... Would it be so funny if the, yeah, there was a picture... Oh, she did. Okay, good. It'd be funny if there was a picture of Frank with the beans and that was unchanged, like, in the middle of all of it. Like, Frank just still got to eat his beans and no, nobody bothered him. Pack West. Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. So wait, 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 was that a snakes on a plane reference? Because <laughs> it sounds phonetically similar to snakes on a plane, but she's like, you're safe on a plane. It can't be. It just, I my head was like, snakes right on a plane. Time. Hot dog man? <laughs> oh yeah, he's on the TV, isn't he? That's one thing that you get from episodic releases, is they knew that everyone loved hot dog man, so they started putting him everywhere in this final episode. And then they go all in on Hot Dog Man and uh, Life is Strange 2. Holy shit, you rule, Max. I'm so proud of my superstar. This is just the start of your career. Oh, you're alive. I did it. But now we're stuck next to Principal Fixed Wells. Wowser. Wowser. God. As, like, you could have the coolest principal in high school history, and I would still be so uncomfortable stuck sitting on a plane next to them for, like, a two-hour flight or whatever this is. Oregon to California, so it's probably around there, if not a bit longer, because California's careful. huge. I'm still between reality. San Fran's more north, though, so maybe it's not that bad. On this one for too long. I think it's San Fran. San Francisco, of course. <laughs> I want, in my brain, I was like, it's San Francisco. It's like when I called... Las Vegas, New Vegas ones. In front of so actual human beings. Thankfully realities. they were my friends and they didn't judge me too hard. Everything is out of focus <clears throat> and in the distance. Just me and my high school principal, just us. It's not even a school, it's just us two. Um yeah. Baymax, Max Caulfield, Baymax Caulfield. It's all coming together, baby. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. God He's like the human version of Hot Dog Man. Look at the fucking charisma on this guy. That's Hot Dog Man given human form. Like, look at Hot Dog Man, and then look at him. Also, I like the implication that Principal Wells was watching Hot Dog Man. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. I love that it's spelled with W's. I totally play the video game and watch him all the time. When we were innocent. We totally played the video game. Thanks for the modifier, so I know that you're not bullshitting me, Max. We totally did! We, we totally played the video game. Oh. I didn't realize that was time-sensitive. Why, why are they focusing on this random man? I guess they're doing it for a bunch of people. That's the, that's the fucking girl! Go back in the pod and look at the girl. That's the girl from the party. That I was like, oh, there's two models of this girl. They reused her again for the plane. Glasses and pony. I'm telling you. She's everywhere. I think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all. I love this guy. He's like he's like this version the plane's version of uh dancing Trevor. Prin Wells, could you unpause hot dog man, please? Let's read the paper. The beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Yo, we got a two for one deal. Two Moon Diner? Amid all the environmental chaos in Arcadia Bay, such as the unseasonal snowfall in beached whales, some residents reported seeing two full moons last night around 8 p.m. Witnesses claim the double moons were clear in the night sky until clouds covered them up shortly after they appeared. No cell phone or video footage has surfaced yet. How is that possible? There were a bunch of drunk teenagers watching the double moon. Unless the, no, the end of the world party still would have happened, right? So, how, how is that possible? There's no... There's, it's 2013, okay? This is not, like, the early 90s where we don't have the... Even then, we have, like, disposable cameras. Yeah, I would take the longest video ever of the double moon. Um, this led local meteorologists to believe that imaginations are in overdrive due to the recent eco-havoc. What's up? I have a question. Sure. Sorry. Hey, you're good. Time sensitive. Time sensitive, yeah. How weird do you think it is to have a beanbag chair? I don't think it's weird to have a bean chair. Chat, what do you think about a beanbag chair in the living room? What color? Ooh, okay. That's like a fancy beanbag. I love that, actually. Can it's I show them? It's gonna be a little bit chunky monkey. A little chunky like... monkey. <laughs> Can I show them? Yeah. Let me see if you want to identify info on here. I don't we'll think just so. Tap it. Yeah. 
All right, chat. What do you think of this beanbag chair? It's not like a beanbag chair. But it's a beanbag chair. Right. <laughs> like, it's not like... When, when you said beanbag chair... You meant like a... You yeah. thought I meant like a... Like, yeah. I was already on board for it, for the record. Um, I think it's cute. How much is it? I don't know. You don't know? Way cheaper than any other chair. Yeah, so we were, like so we have we have a couch in our living room and a, and a coffee table, but we would like like an extra just like a side chair, but I'm, we're looking online and like some of these fucking chairs are like five hundred dollars and for what, you know? And then you find like a cheap. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. I There's only one left in stock. Do it. Do it. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. And even if it's a flop, uh, we find somewhere else for it. Yeah. Yeah. Where is it from? Amazon. Amazon. Okay. Yeah. Do it. Sweet. All right. <laughs> oh, Miss Orbit's sitting in a beanbag chair in her living room right now. So. <laughs> yes, we're on trend. Yeah. All right. We did get our um, our uh, dining table from Facebook Marketplace, right? Yes. And the chairs. So. Yes. This is this chair is only like a hundred bucks. So, for chairs, apparently that's pretty good. I would think a chair should be no more than fifty dollars, <laughs> but. <laughs> Y'all, when you move. Yeah. I'm trying to look in chat. Can they yeah. see me? Yeah, they can't see you, but... Maybe I'll make a guest appearance. Maybe I'll show my face. You would... You, I mean, people have seen your face. <laughs> I can't tell how close I am. You, you popped in right here. I know, no, no, I know, but, like, I was, like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a creeper. You're good. Hi! Um, you know, Facebook Marketplace is really good. Yeah. We got a whole dining set with like a leaf is what they call it, where you can like pull the two pieces apart right. and Make it add bigger. like a flat, <laughs> <ka -cha! laughs> yeah. add like a flat area in between to make it look bigger. Right. Um, and four chairs for like $150. I was like, that's crazy. Good deal. A good deal. And it's a good table. It's yeah. served us well so far. Oh, my nails. Thanks. She just got them done. They were oh, long. They're and... way washed out. <laughs> they're yeah. yellow. They're like a pale yellow. <laughs> um, they're like a butter yellow. That was the theme yeah. for me. Um, it's ordered, so good. it's going to show up in two days. Hopefully we can make it up the stairs this time. It's and a beanbag chair. Yeah, you're right. It's not going to be like... It's full of beans. beans. We're sitting in those beans. I can't wait. <laughs> Do you get that or no? No. <laughs> no. Oh, like Fred... It, like Frank. Frank beans? Yeah, I Frank beans. Fred beans. Yeah. I like that somebody, is it not? In Life is Strange, yeah. No, Fred. Fred, Fred? beans. No, you just made Is him up. In your chat? You Fred Beans. <laughs> no, you just made him up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not aware. I'll have to ask my moms if they've seen a Fred Bean. Mm. But. Oh well, maybe I'm just a little nuts. Yeah. So I, <laughs> I like that though. I like that as like a pseudonym. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you everybody. So lovely to see you. All right, I'll be done in like five minutes. So. Okay. I'll see you. Sounds good. And we get dinner. Yep. All right. You sit like a pig and try the floor. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, anyway. Unironically, uh, living my best life right now. The fact that she can come in and we can banter and buy a chair um, and then we're going to go get dinner. I love that. Um, Black Hole Security uncovers bunker and scandal. Acting on a, service of, a series of tips from David Madsen, head of security at Black Hole Academy, police officers descended Tuesday on a bizarre underground chamber allegedly used by teacher Mark Jefferson and student Nathan Prescott to drug, kidnap, and photograph young women. Although there were no other signs of physical or sexual assault on the victims, the disturbing revelations have sent shockwaves through the tranquil city of Arcadia Bay. Even Sean Prescott, the most powerful businessman in the area, is under investigation for his role as owner of the farmhouse where the high-tech darkroom studio was located. Um, Max said before we picked this up that, like, oh, the, even the Prescotts are going down. He's getting investigated, meaning he has enough money for this to go away very easily. Um, I have no faith in the system to prosecute Sean Prescott or any of the Prescotts. Do you mind not whistling? God, not these... Talking to me? Is he whistling? Is he the whistling man? Do you mind not whistling? Do you mind not talking to me? Anyway, I just love that all these guys are like, fucking come on, it doesn't work. Um, I'm a little worried about this, the, the plane. Um, what's up, Prin Wells? This is a nice break for Principal Wells. After all the damage control he had to He's do gonna get fucked up ball. at the buffet, which I remember is you sleep? at the, uh, the gallery snoring out loud max just a bit 
It's been a tough week at Blackwell. Like, both so of them have to hate this, right? Between Mr. Jefferson... Max has to hate that he stuck with his, things with her principal, I, and Principal I, Wells has to hate I that he has to go to San Francisco Wells. with one random child. That's a smart way of telling me to stop. Like, well, there goes my fucking weekend. I'm proud of you for representing Blackwell in the Everyday Heroes contest. I know I'm not exactly... I was gonna do... I was gonna... Uh, trip on acid and watch Scooby-Doo. have a great experience here. I already am, and... We're not because Principal there. Wells grew up in the 60s, so that's what he does for fun. Minnesota! Oh! Christ. Another no Oh, no. That's not according to Keikaku at all. You're not just screwing around. Right, because we're like three layers deep now or something. We're like in the past, in the past, but in the alternate future of that past. So it's a fucking mess. <laughs> and the country is called Blackwell. <laughs> They re wait, so in this timeline, America is called the United States of Blackwell? <laughs> well, here we are, at the Everyday Heroes Zeitgeist Gallery. And I think this will be a good place to end it. I feel fairly confident we can get through the remainder of Episode 5. I would like to. I think that would make the most sense. Um, because I know that the game will let us pick up right from here. If I do anything right now, it's going to get erased, so, because the game only auto-saves at, well, you can, I don't even know if you can hard save. Like, if I hard saved, if I even can, after I open the hatch, San Francisco is um, so cool. I'm not sure if it would have and actually done anything. Is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. <laughs> More for you can me. Do whatever you want. <laughs> I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Oh, uh, networking? I won a contest and my prize is fucking networking? The worst verb ever? <laughs> Great. This week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start. And neither of us know what to do with our arms people. right now. That's well, adulthood. I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. I was very deeply Max, unpopular. <laughs> that so you don't have to. Oh, there you go. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. I you can't know, tell if, like, I'm remembering things but from when I played this nine years ago. I mean, I've watched Let's Plays. So maybe it's that, but After everything that's happened, I feel like there's been so many occasions where, like, I predict what the characters are going to say. And I'm like, oh, okay. They're just totally on the same wavelength. Life is strange wavelengths. Um, wow, okay. So we'll pick up here a week from today. So um, not sure exactly what's going on with Tuesday and Thursday. I would like at least one of them to be the KH Drag Race simulation, um, depending on PJ's availability. Uh, if not, then we might do... Um, we could do like our Smash Bros. Uh, Mario Kart night as well. Um, I'll try to give some uh, some heads up on the YouTube community page and in Discord, all that. So I'll let you know what's going on with that as we get closer. But thank you for hanging out. I love Life is Strange Saturdays, um, some of my favorite streams. So let me just plug my Twitter. I don't know why I'm yelling. My Discord and Patreon. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you on Tuesday. Have a great rest of your weekend. Be safe, be kind, be courteous. Take it easy. Good night. Bye.